Oh. I am the 6900XT. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into the video guys, if you could give us a like and subscribe below, come and join us for all the amazing crypto content that we've got as the market rallies on in the future now. We've done many, many card reviews, we've done some hardware stuff. In the new year, we're really going to be bringing some very exciting content, a bit wider in the crypto space for what it is, how things work, how you can get involved with it, and just kind of use this channel to educate as many people as we can about crypto and blockchain. So all things hardware, how to make money in the sector, and really many many different angles we're going to cover just to give some really good entertainment and really help people to understand what all this stuff's about so if that sounds like a bit of you give us a subscribe below and we can't wait to see you shortly in our next video uh... <laughs> yeah okay so new microphone um, everybody because we want to make the videos better and uh... this is this is what we get <laughs> So here we are again with a 6900 XT from AMD, the biggest card that they have to offer. Oh my god! Here it is, right next to us, you can see it spinning around, doing its little thing, and we've put it through its benchmarks, we've given it a really good test on some mining algorithms for you to be able to get these numbers to you. So ultimately the question that we want to find out today is, is it going to be the Ethereum king? It's got a hell of a lot of horsepower, it's been pretty good in its smaller brothers and sisters in the line. Is this going to be something special? Let's find out. So unlike the 6800 XT, this is of course the bigger brother, the big boy in the lineup. And um, we've got 80 compute units, so a little bit more brains under the CPU of this chip. And um, we're using the same memory. We've got the 16 gigabytes of GDDR6. And of course, the wattage is looking very similar, around 300 watts TDP as well. So ultimately, many, many things have stayed the same, but ultimately, we've got a bit more brains in the operation when it comes to the chip power, hence why it competes much better for gaming, um, and there's a bit more of a 3090 rival, because of course, that's more intensive on that type of things. But when it comes to the mining, will any of that matter? Let's find out. <laughs> So straight out of the box we've got 60 mega hash, 60.3 to be exact is what we got when we were testing this. So that's no overclocks, no messing around with power, just straight out the gates at maximum wattage, kind of basic settings, so 300 watts, 60 mega hash, so again nothing special to start with there. Ah, oh, no, it's still boring. Then we moved into the overclocking where we did a bit of tweaking and we got that up to 67.3 and we lowered the power down to 153 watts. So quite power efficient for wattage but ultimately not that impressive in terms of really high numbers. <sighs> so when it comes to final thoughts, what really does this mean um, for this card in terms of crypto mining? Well ultimately as it says right now, you know, the video was is it going to be the king? I mean it potentially... Um, had some ab ability or presumpted ability to be able to do this but the long and short of it is is it's just a long long way off from um, Nvidia when it comes to this you know the fact that the memory is slightly different it's GDDR6 versus GDDR6X so it's a slightly faster memory on the Nvidia lineup that does play into these numbers quite a lot too now always with the AMD stuff there's going to be some BIOS tweaking there's going to be some better drivers um, I don't doubt for a second that 67 is going to be anywhere near the ultimate top end of this card I think there's probably a little bit to go on top of that but ultimately is it ever going to get somewhere near 100 that the 3080s are doing right now um, it's just not going to happen it's just too much of a gap so when it comes to competing for gaming this card is a very very different beast and competes with the 3090 quite well in many areas and I'm sure many other videos on YouTube will kind of give you some more guidance on but fundamentally when it comes to crypto mining this is a top end card it's the most expensive card in the lineup it's probably never going to be used for this um, anyway because it's too expensive for what it does but ultimately the numbers at the very top end we were hoping to be higher comparing this to the 3090 where we got 115 mega hash in one of our previous videos that you'll be able to see with a link below so again at the top end it falls quite a bit short um, not too far away from half when it comes to the out-of-the-box numbers so 
interesting, um, slightly, you know, good for some people, bad for others. It's safe to say this card is not going to be gobbled up by miners. That <laughs> so we've got this content to you quite quickly, guys. Obviously, it's been very hard to get our hands on a card. Um, as it's just been released only a couple of days ago so we tried really quickly to get this out to you so if you could smash that like button as a little thank you for us putting this video together as quick as we could for you and um, we can't wait to see you in the next video so we'd appreciate you giving us a subscribe it's been really great to get this information to you and we cannot wait to see you again in the next easy crypto video